Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather. If you are new to my channel, you like what you see, don't forget to like the videos. Don't forget to subscribe. I am somebody who is not sponsored whatsoever, maybe one day, but not today. But I do do giveaways and I do pop up giveaways. Um, randomly, sometimes I pop in pop up giveaways through the middle to the end of my videos. So the people that watch them fully through do get um, pop up giveaways. Don't forget my Father's Day giveaway. I'm going to be announcing either tonight or tomorrow morning. So if you want to get in on it, now is your chance. It ends tonight by midnight Eastern time because um, I live in New York. Um, also, in about three days, July 4th. I will be announcing who wins my June giveaway. So if you want to get in on it, you got to comment on my videos for June giveaway. And if you're a father for Father's Day and you live in the U.S., um, all my giveaways are USA only. Sorry, guys, I cannot afford $80 for shipping right now. Um, but don't forget to comment on the videos. If you want to do Father's Day, just say you're a father and you want to get in on it by tonight, by midnight Eastern time. Um, so, okay. I was asked to do a video, actually by a couple people this week, um, wanting the same thing about young people and dentures. Um, I was 33 when I got my top out, and I just recently turned 34. It'll In about a week or so, it'll be uh, six months since I've had mine out. Now, this is a common, common thing to bring up because many people, sorry guys, trying to get comfy. For anybody that knows me, I'm totally unscripted and I'm a big blooper waiting to happen. So you're not going to get anything all, nope, not out of me. So young people with dentures, okay, it's hard. You know, people think dentures and they think, you know, it's somebody that's in their 60s, 70s, 80s, it's an old person thing and all that crap. First of all, I want to let you know Hollywood is defined that it's for any age. <laughs> Half of them wear veneers, dentures, all that. I don't know if any of you knew, but Ben Affleck wore dentures for years until he got implants. There are so many people in Hollywood that wear dentures, not just veneers and not just implants. Um, you can actually easy look that up. Even the girl from Jersey Shore I looked up, Snooki wore dentures for a hot minute. So you guys are in great company. I know a lot of people tell me that when they hear that, you know, famous people wear dentures, not just implants or veneers, but actual dentures, it makes them feel better because you know, it's a common thing. You guys got to understand, no matter how old you are, it is one in five people wear dentures. And it's a fact. Um, I looked up so much information months ago, and it even told me one out of five people wear dentures. And it actually starts from mid-20s is normally when it happens. And it could be any anything, guys. People think, oh, you know, dentures, it's, oh, somebody was a drug addict, or they just have shitty hygiene. Yes, both of those could be true. But also, like me, I had an autoimmune condition. My teeth were fine until they weren't from an autoimmune suppressant. People have gone into car accidents. And, you know, there's many things that come into play of why people get dentures. It is. Some people are just tired of the root canals or cavities or they just don't want to even waste the money on actually working on their teeth and they just go for dentures. The one thing I do have to say is if you can keep your real teeth, keep them. And I'm not talking about, oh, make your whole mouth root canal because that's a waste. But I'm talking about like if you need a root canal or you need a couple of fillings, something like that. Don't go straight into dentures because it is not an easy process. You, It is a learning curve. And it totally changes you guys. Like, okay, how I was and what I looked like back then with my teeth, I do not look the same now. Like my, I always called them my fangs, but my canines were more defined. They were more obvious. And I used to have a top lip and I don't anymore. But notice with your temporary dentures, your dentures are going to be big. Yes, please do a soft reline. It will help the fit. But more, the more the denture when it used to fit, because you guys don't understand it, this shit's fitted when you had your teeth. So it's not going to fit. So when it does go up and up and up and up and up, it changes your face completely. It does. Your permanent dentures more give you a look and define of what you choose to want to have. So just know temporary dentures are just that. They are temporary. Unless you're actually turning them into um, permanent dentures, which you can do that with a simple hard reline. But temporary dentures are just that. They are temporary. We have no input of what they look like except the shade. That's all we got going for it. 
So people ask me if I designed my temporary. No, I did not. I got this and um, they just matched it with my bottom teeth. Um, I probably would have went a shade darker to match more of my bottom because it definitely didn't look like the same. And when I take them out, they don't look as white. Like these are pretty white. Um, but that's because of the lighting right now. But it is hard when you're young because when you're young, you think your peers, the people your age group are going to judge the shit out of you. There are support groups online for young people with dentures. Um, a lot of people more have a social issue because they're afraid to be judged. And you guys got to understand if you hang out with some shitty ass people, man, and they're going to judge you because you got dentures that no matter what damn age, you need to drop them. Let it go. Because real friends would support you, care for you, be understanding, loving, and have your back no matter what. And just know when you're out in public, I always tell people, if, if you act self-conscious, like if you cover your mouth, people are going to wonder why you're covering your mouth, which is a fact. Even with us, if we had our real teeth right now and we saw somebody kept covering their mouth, we're going to know why. We were gonna, we're going to wonder why. So if, if you cover it and you're bringing attention, so pretend they're your real teeth. That's the best advice I can give you. That's what I do. I don't even think about it. When I go out in public, I don't even think about it. Yeah, there's a couple of days where I get self-conscious, um, but not like hardcore, like just some days, we all have our good and bad days, you know, like there's some days where I'm like, man, I really wish I had my real teeth. So like if I could have done anything to stop it, I would, but it was at random and it was something I couldn't control. And it's not like I didn't take care of my teeth because I did. So, and plus when you have diseases, guys, whether it's diabetes or autoimmune or it doesn't matter, um, bone loss and everything can cause it. Calcium deficiency can ruin your teeth. If you eat and drink a lot of acidic foods, that destroys the enamel of your mouth. Um, even people that say, oh, I clean and I brush really hard. Well, you're brushing your enamel off, so you can't brush hard. Um, but... It is common, no matter what age group you're in, to be self-conscious. And there are so, if you guys look at the support groups online, so many young people, I see majority of young and less older, which is really weird. You'd think it would be the opposite because that's the way we're thinking, but it's actually not. A lot of young people get it done and for a variety of reasons. So the people who are uneducated and ignorant about why people get dentures or why people lose their teeth. You know, let them, let them do that. Let them, let them be ignorant guys. You guys got to understand as the people, when you go out in public, you will never see these people again, or they are not part of your immediate circle. Don't worry about what they feel and think. And I know it's easier said than done guys, but like I always tell you guys, it comes from you first. Like once you go through the acceptance, I always tell you guys, there's always five stages of grieving. Um, and once there's acceptance and you've come to terms and you've adjusted to your new look and you like your smile and you're comfortable, it gives you more confidence. And with new teeth or not, it doesn't matter that if you have happier days and you know, you're, you feel good that day, you're more empowered, you know, you've got more confidence and you don't think about it, but it's very common in the beginning of this journey to get depressed over this. Because you're mourning the loss of a part of you. You're angry at why this happened. You're upset about what the hell is going on. So being young, I do this video for the people out there, especially the ones that are young, who are like, you know, I'm young, this sucks, am I alone? You're not alone. Because I'm sitting in front of your face and I'm young. Look at Spider Liz. She's a little bit younger than me. And she's one of my favorite denture YouTubers. There are so many denture young YouTubers out there, guys, that do these videos just for the same reason I am. To reach out and let you know you are not alone. And it's hard to adjust. It is. I'm not going to tell you guys, oh, you shouldn't feel the way you do. Take your time. Feel the way you do. Adjust to it. Because it sucks. It sucks to know that you have dentures now. It does. 
Do I have good and bad days? Absolutely. And I'm talking about physically and emotionally. Like there are sometimes I can look at my old pictures. I'm trying to see if I have pictures around here that are old. So I can, I don't even think I have pictures of me anywhere. But my face is different. Like I literally, guys, I got no damn lip. I'm going to show you. Look. What the hell? I saw my big ass bottom lip. It got a little smaller. Now, if you guys see my brown spots, that's scleroderma. All I am is wearing chapstick. So all this darkness and these spots that you see, that's my disease. My disease actually turns me to stone is, is basically what it is. It's too much collagen in your body and it tightens you really bad inside and out. And it is deadly. But it had a lot to do with it. Now, I was reading something up on if you have the same problem I do with, you know, your face changing because of dentures and your bone structure is different. And, you know, my jawline is completely different and all of that. Um, they were talking about lip fillers. Lip fillers, I think, last about six months to a year. It's about a few hundred dollars, depending on what kind you get. Um, but a lot of people, I looked it up, guys. Like, I looked it up the other day because I was like, you know what? I want to get fucking lip fillers. Like, this sucks. Like, I have a bottom lip and I have no top lip. Like, seriously. It's hiding. So I know my dentist even said when I get my permanent dentures, um, it'll be different. I'll have more of a lip. You know, with temporary dentures, it just sucks. You're, you, it's, it's temporary. The motions of shittiness is temporary. But I don't regret it. I'm not going to not get this process done because somebody down the block might feel some type of way. Girl, I don't care what type of way you feel. I don't, I don't care because I almost died and I'm not going to not get this done because some chick or some dude has got some problem with it. They in my life. The only person that matters of the process is you. That's it. Me getting this done was for me. It wasn't for him, him, her, her, whatever. Me. I did it because I needed to get it done. I wanted to live. God put me here for a reason. And I'm not going to just give up because I'm afraid of what people might think. What I learned in life, because no matter what, you're always going to have somebody hate on you. It doesn't matter. You can have millions of dollars. You can be poor as hell. You can freaking be a doctor. You can be, you know, a nurse. You can, it doesn't matter whether you're a YouTuber or you work at a pharmacist. It doesn't matter. You're always going to have somebody hate on you. Even if you helped every single person in this world. There's always going to be somebody out there that's going to judge you and be an asshole. We all know this. So that's why I don't get upset at people when they come at me. Let them have their opinion. We all have a right to our opinions. And it, you want to assume, assume. But we all know what they say about assume. Just saying. But all I could say is if you guys ever need a friend, I will always be here. I will always be here to help you, boost you up, do whatever you need done. Just to have a friend, you need to talk, I'm always here. Because that's why I make these videos. Yes, it sucks so badly to be young with dentures. But when God shuts a door, smashes it to the ground and does whatever, and he opens up a window, open it up more and walk the hell through it. Jump out the damn window and freaking embrace it. Opens up a door. Let it open. Don't be shutting it. Locking it up, hide underneath your blankets, don't. Because everything happens for a reason. And I've, I've, everything I've been through in my life, I've realized that. I've been through some shitty shit, but without that shitty shit, I would not be in certain positions I was in or some certain greatness that have happened. Everything happens for a reason. And like I always say, without bad, nobody would ever truly appreciate the good. If you always had good all the time, you would expect it and you would never be like, wow, damn, this is, I'm blessed. So, yes, this process sucks, but you know what's great? You get to take your permanent dentures and you get to now have the, the freaking smile you've always wanted to have. Always wanted to have. And guys on Facebook, there are support groups, young people with dentures. You can just put that in the search and a bunch of stuff comes up. And every support group there is, there's more young people than older people. So you're not alone. You're in very much good company. And especially, you know, you're going to get annoyed by me every day. So, <laughs> I all know you guys like seeing me every day, talking and ranting on and 
try not to break my dentures. That was this morning, but we won't discuss that. <laughs> but you guys got to understand it's a process. And the only opinion that does matter is you. It, it's true. Like, there could be like a day, maybe once a month or whatever, like somebody says something, it might make me upset. But within later that day, I'm like over it. I'm like, dude, what the hell does it matter what they say? It doesn't. Who cares? It, it genuinely doesn't. And there's so many of us guys that are young that go through this. And yes, when you go out in public or whatever, you wonder if people look at, if you don't make a big deal of it, they won't make a big deal of it. And I learned that so much. And that's on my own. Not just saying it. I've noticed it. Like when I first got my dentures, I was so worried. I kept covering and covering up my dentures. It's like, Heather, what are you doing? Do you realize that if you make a scene, you're going to get a scene? He was like, put your hands down, put your head held high. He goes, no one's going to notice. He goes, most people that walk past you have never seen you before. Unless you go to the same place. And you know what? If people were really true humanity, humanity inside them, and they were actually people, they wouldn't care. Because teeth don't make a person. You're still the same person inside. And the only thing that matters is somebody's heart and soul. It doesn't matter about their teeth. Like if somebody came up to me and be like, oh, you wear dentures. Good observation. <laughs> High five. Like, and what's your point, bro? No. Don't take people's crap. And even if you fake your confidence, no one's going to just come up to you and be like, hey, do you wear dentures? And if they do, they're probably wearing dentures or want to go through the process. That's happened about a few times. Um, somebody was like, Hey, I got a question. Are those your real teeth? And I was like, well, the top, no, the bottom, yes. And they were like, you know, not, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm asking because I'm going through the process and you're young. And I wanted to talk to you about it. And I was like, cool, we can do that. And I don't find insulted people ask me. Yes, I got dentures. I make a denture YouTube site. If I was shy about it, I wouldn't make it. But it definitely comes with loving yourself, guys. And it's going to take time. But don't tell somebody... To, don't listen to a damn person when they're like, oh, get over it. Tell them to get the fuck over it. Like, really? Mm -mm. No, don't let anybody tell you to feel or do a certain type of way. It's going to take time. It is, especially if you're, you're about to get it done and you're, you just got it done. It is more of an emotional time thing. But see, I waited so long and then being in sepsis, I couldn't wait to get it done. I was like, let's do this. Like, I was like, done. I, so I was well prepared for it. Yeah. I mean, I do miss having my teeth and I think it sucks, but you can't go back now. You can't look back. The only way to go is to keep going forward. And you don't know what this journey is going to bring you. Everybody is designed to do something. Everybody has a journey to do something. Everybody's made to do something. Like we're, there's a reason every single one of us are here. Every single one of us is a reason why we're all here. And you can't just give up an adventure journey. Life's bigger than that. Life is bigger than teeth. Your kids are bigger than teeth. Your family are bigger than teeth. You are bigger than teeth. You deserve better. And then when you accept it, when you smile in the mirror and you see a perfect smile where you can't get cavities anymore, but you can break them, guys, and you can get mold on them. So good dental hygiene, guys. Still need good dental hygiene. Um, it's actually more work to have dentures than it was without them. But there's no best advice I can give. <laughs> like, I'm a young person with dentures, and you just take one day at a time. Every day does get better. And if you think about it, oh, they're staring at my dentures, they could be thinking your smile is gorgeous. They could think that your eyes are pretty. Like, don't always think the worst. Because why? I always look at it this way. If it's not going to matter tomorrow, don't let it take away today's happiness. I say that every day. Like, even if I get upset over something, I'm like, I sit back for a second, I cool down, and I said, is this going to matter tomorrow? Is it going to alter my life and change it for tomorrow? No. So keep it in the dust. Walk away. I mean, I can't much give you guys better advice than that, but take time. Take time. You need your time. You need your space. You need 
don't listen to other people when they freaking judge and tell you to suck it up. Dude, I've seen it on some denture sites where some people were like, oh, you know, you need to get over it. You're fine. Girl, you freaking went through the same damn process and you were freaking down too. Who the hell are you? Everybody needs their time to adjust and don't let people take you down. No matter how old you are, denture process is a pain in the ass. But one in five people wear dentures and it all starts, some people from the age of 20s. Some people even younger. People go through shit. Car accidents, diseases, doesn't matter. But I'm going to end this because it's over 20 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, I talk a lot. My bad. But um, I hope you guys have a great day. And thank you guys so much for your support and your care and understanding. If you made it through this video, high five. Up top. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget, if you like my videos, like them. Subscribe if you want to see more of my crap. Um, and I'm random, really random. So don't miss out on my craziness, guys. Have a good day. God bless and stay safe. Later all.